So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's gone. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. On the return, here's Agnew. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. A rookie Trevor Lawrence of the Jaguar offense ready to take over. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. Oh, man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Touchdown, Jaguars. DJ Chark, 54 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Lambeau on for the extra point. He's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And Detroit back in possession of the football. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Go off on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is fielded at the 27. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Now, here's Robinson again on second down. And some strong running. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 48 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
Lawrence's throw taken in by Chark. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game. And this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here's second and ten. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. And out of bounds right around the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. From the shotgun, Lawrence being chased out left. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They'll roll him out right. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Chris Manhurts, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jaguars have taken a six-touchdown lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and it is 42 to nothing. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Goff now looks to throw. Open man is Quintez Cephas. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Out of the gun, gone. We're going back to the same well, it's Hawkinson again. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Goff's throw taken in by Hawkinson here. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Here's Goff. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and six. Gone. 
That is caught. It's Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Off throwing again. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. On second and goal, Goff, and that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point by Seibert, up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. To return, here's Agnew. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Rookie Trevor Lawrence of the Jaguar offense ready to take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. That one looks like he'll throw here. Looking downfield for Jones. Watches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. Boy, another big play late here for offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long, and I would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. But the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Well, he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. The kick by Lambeau is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Let's just be frank, they're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. A big offensive explosion have leading them to victory. The defensive guys, they just said, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep running. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows 